Hi guys, Brian the Scare Lion back with another video and joined once again by Pterodactyl Tom. Woo! One of the things I love about this is I can record videos in my pajamas. Today's video is literally going to be our predictions for WWE's pay per view Fastly. It's going to be shit. I don't know, it looks like it, it's predictable. I wouldn't call it shit, I, I think a few of the matches might be decent, but. It looks very predictable. I'm saying the best match I'm going to put on is on the pre-show. Well, we'll get to that. Uh, but, here we go. Now, the first match that we've got is Rey Mysterio versus Andrade. Uh, both of them have put on really good matches on SmackDown so far. Uh, who have you got in this and why? I'm picking Rey because Rey needs this win so they can have a match at WrestleMania. And actually be on the main card because they're putting a WrestleMania caliber match on the pre-show. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, see, for me, I disagree. I'm going to go in the way of Andrade on this. Get a little bit of momentum uh, because I'm hoping for Andrade to face Joe at WrestleMania. Ah. Andrade versus Joe for the United States Championship. By the way, it's about fucking time. Aye. It is about time Joe got a fucking championship. The one person who appreciates it more than me is him. Yep. <laughs> He's been waiting for Joe to get a championship. I've loved Joe since since it was in Ring of Honor. So next up we're going to talk about the SmackDown Tag Team Championships and it is the Usos defending against the best tag team in the world. Boo. Shane and The Miz. Shane and The Miz. Well, uh, for me it's got to be pretty obvious. I'm going with the Usos. Yeah. The Usos are going to take this, but uh, I feel like it's going to be because of a heel turn. And my money is going to be on Shane turning on The Miz. I mean... That's the way we want it. We want Shane to be the heel in this situation. Yep. I know The Miz is a great heel, but no. Uh, I've got the same, really. I'm being boring, taking the same as you, but I'm saying The Miz is going to turn on Shane. That's fine. As long as we get to see Shane versus The Miz. Yeah, that's what I mean, aye. Next up, we've got the SmackDown Women's Championship match. This is Asuka versus... Have you got this and why? Obviously, I've got Asuka. Mandy should not be in the title picture whatsoever. She's absolutely dreadful. I, I would question it. I would like be. Oh, I don't know who's going to win this. If it was Sonya Deville. If it was Sonya Deville, I, I, I'd probably have Sonya Deville in this, but Mandy, not Mandy. fucking rolls. Hopefully, it sets up for fucking uh, Sonya Deville versus Asuka at WrestleMania. I mean, that would be an interesting one to see. Sonya Deville is so underappreciated. She is so, so underappreciated. Uh, but aye, we've both got Asuka in this. Fucking hell. Yep. So next up, we're going to talk about the six-man tag team match, which is the newly reformed Shield versus the team of Baron Corbin, Bobby Boring Lashley, and Drew and Millie McIntyre. So aye. we'll call it the team of big sweaty bastards. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so have you got in this then? They're going to get to the shield. They are. They're going to give the shield the win. It's a feel good moment. Unless they decide to have uh, the shield lose and have like either Roman turn on Dean or Dean turn on Roman and set up for a WrestleMania match between the two. Yeah. Like this is going to involve a lot of WrestleMania fucking stipulations going forward. Not not this match. I mean the full show. Aye. So. Uh, but I'm sticking with the Shield. The Shield are going to get the feel-good moment. No, the Shield are going to get the feel-good moment, but you could also argue in the case of Seth Rollins turning on them because Seth Rollins is the, good, is the really, really good guy in all of this. There's and only one thing I don't I hope for. What? Let, let's just hope they don't have Roman turning on Seth and inserting himself into the title picture. Oh, I swear to fuck if he does that. I, I won't give up. I believe Roman should get his title shot. After WrestleMania, Aye. after after the WrestleMania match between Rollins and Lesnar is done, but for now, do not put it as a triple threat. And that doesn't mean give him the title shot at fucking Greatest Royal Rumble. No, no, no. Greatest Royal Rumble should be exist. No, it should, it should not. be exist. So I we've both got the shield on this. They've got the shield here. So next up, we've got the Raw Tag Team Championship match. This is between the Revival, Alistair Black and Ricochet, and Bobby Roode and Chad. Who have you got here and why? Uh, I'm going with a team that I want to win, which is the Revival. But they probably won't get the win, so then they'll probably get to Rudd and Gable. 
but I, I'm sticking with the Revival. The, the only team that are actually a tag team in this match. See, for me, <laughs> oh, I, I hate to do this. I hate to do this. But I'm going with the Revival as well. The Revival should be the ones walking up with the championships here. They've not held them for long enough. I feel like they need to hold them longer. Alistair Black and Ricochet, I don't think... Uh, the mat there is filler because of the whole injury uh, to DIY to, uh, to Marcel Champa, so I don't feel like they need them to the championships. But then I don't see them taking the pinball. Either way, I'd say the revival need to hold these championships for a bit longer. Otherwise, just let the revival go for fuck's sake. Yep. You're not gonna do fuck up with the best tag team you've got on Raw then just nothing. Exactly. Not no men in there. Exactly. So next up we're going to talk about the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships and it is the Boston Hog Connection, Sasha and Bailey, against Botchamania. Botchamania. That is basically what they are. Uh, Nia Jackson, Tamina. Ugh. I, I swear to God, if they if they go to WrestleMania, it will be Botchamania. <laughs> it definitely will be. Jesus. They are fucking Christ. trash. Uh, but I obviously, Boston Hog Connection. Boston it's got Hulk to be. Yep. It's got to be, because if it's no, it'll just annoy me. It'll annoy the fuck out of me, because Naya and Tamina are shit. They are, they're really shit. So next up, we've probably got the most important match on the card right now. Yeah. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. If Becky Lynch wins this, she goes on to the WrestleMania triple threat. We'll get one to that. But uh, if she does not, then it's a one-on-one -on -one between Charlotte and Ronda. Ronda, is it? So who have you got and why? Becky Lynch. Everybody knows we're getting a triple threat match at WrestleMania, so it's, it's not really, it's not really a surprise, is it? We don't want the triple threat match. We just wanted a standard one-on-one -on -one between Becky and Ronda. Aye. That's what we wanted. But that's not to say that the triple threat won't be a good match. The triple threat should be a really, really good match. Uh, I'm glad that they decided to pull the gun and fucking I'd say turn Ronda heel. Oh, with a turn around the heel, I thought you were on about the uh, uh, women getting the main event, wrestle, well, WrestleMania main event match, which should have been the four horse woman against four horse woman. No, I'm fine with this, but it's. Mm, it should have been a one on one. No, it should have. But we're both taking Becky here. Yeah. Becky's gone at uh, WrestleMania. She is. And last, but definitely not least, we've got the WWE Championship match, which is Daniel Bryan. With his seven foot sidekick, even though he's six foot six, uh, a run against KO, the returning Kevin Owens. It should be a great match. Uh, it really should. Uh, if if I was gone straight forward, like, I would love to see Kevin Owens win. Uh, Don't get me wrong, I would love to see Kevin Owens win this. But, uh, at the same time, I'd love to see Daniel Bryan win this and put on a WrestleMania match against Kofi Kingston one on one. Yeah. The the end of the Elimination Chamber when it was just Kofi and Daniel was fucking amazing. Aye. So to see that as a singles match at WrestleMania would be incredible. And you just know for a fact that Daniel wouldn't mind dropping the title to Kofi. He had that big WrestleMania moment. Aye. Well, you've got. So you've got Daniel Bryan on this then? Of course I have. Here's my surprise, I'm picking Kevin Owens. You're picking KO on this? I'm picking oh, KO. Oh. Because, like, right, you've got this little thing at the moment on SmackDown with Kevin Owens and Kofi Kingston, like, uh, you're this, you're as deserving as me as for this chub, for this championship uh. match and that lot. And I reckon KO's gonna even pick the title up at Fastlane. WWE gears that will swerve towards WrestleMania like they usually do, like once uh, a year at least. And KO is going to get the title shot to Kofi against them. Or maybe even a triple threat KO against Daniel Bryan against Kofi. Uh, yes. Maybe. Uh, uh, we'll just have to see where it goes. So you've got Kevin Owens. I've got, in this. I've got KO. It was a nice little turn. I thought you were going to go with Daniel as well, along with me. No. Alright, fair enough then. Makes it more interesting uh, for us, doesn't it? Well, there's all the matches. Uh, the punishment this time round is going to be a tomato soup shower. We're not going painful this time. 
But we are going a hard to remove substance. My <laughs> long hair, that's going to be a piss take to get Oh, it's going to be fucking hilarious. Wanias will be gone through with that. Maybe even Bafias if we draw. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really see any chances of that happening, to be honest. But let's see what, let's see what happens. Yeah. Uh, so stay tuned. Also, thank you for joining us. Anything you would like to say, Thomas? What? I knew it was coming. Uh, aye. If you did like this video, don't forget to butt fuck that like button. Please.